before I begin video. Gotta make sure that audio is good. Mm. Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Army here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on April 6th of 2023, going over all the events as well as major changes that came with this patch, that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings the much-awaited and anticipated trade rework, and a couple other little events and stuff to take advantage of too. So yeah, quickly before we cover all those things, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Help subscribe my channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both win and Without further ado, let's get into it and start off with the events like we do every single week. And first off, we have an IRL themed event here. So what you're going to do is decorate some eggs in the theme of Easter that is pertaining to your class. So like an Easter egg for your class, something that you would do to like represent that class. Post a picture of it in the forum section. Links are all in the event post itself and uh, be entered for the thing to win. So winners are going to receive these items that you see right here. Plus the uh, runner ups are going to get a little fluffy bunny pet. So if you're interested in doing some posting and making some eggs, uh, it's, uh, it's a draw. Uh, next up, we have Twitch Drops. So for those of you that are in the Twitch Drop system, you can get your free stuff here for watching your favorite streamers, including me, every single weekend here. Um, but for all other streamers, April 6th through April 13th, check them out, get some free stuff. And yeah, I'm twitch.tv slash evil do if you want to watch me this weekend. Um, but watching anybody will get you these rewards. But again, twitch.tv slash evil do harm every single weekend. Check me out. If you haven't linked your Twitch account to your Black Desert account, you're going to need to log into your account right up here on the Black Desert website. Log in and link your Twitch account. That will get you set up to receive these different drops while watching your favorite streamers. Next up, we have the find the right items for your adventures here. So this one is a Velia based quest. So Velia is right up here towards the top of the map, one of the first places you'll come to in the game. And to get started with the quest line, press the comma key to bring up the Black Spirit. Click on the quest tab, head over to event, and you are looking for the quest Valentine's Visit to Velia. Accept that quest. It should place a marker on your map. If it doesn't, click on the quest here and click the track button, um, which is this little little diamond here. So go ahead and click on that and uh, head on over. Go ahead and talk to them, chat through their quest, mash the button until you get the quest that says help you find their egg. And it just auto completed for me. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Now the items that you got from that are some furniture items that you can set up inside your house. They'll be inside of your character's inventory. If you talk to Valentine again, he'll have another series of quests that are for Rainbow, Raindrop, and Star Pattern Flounder eggs. The Raindrop egg is for defeating monsters, the Rainbow is for horse training, and the Star Pattern is for life skilling. These eggs can be obtained by finding 20 eggs out in the game world, so you're looking for these Flounder Goose eggs, bring them over, and then getting a total of 20 of those eggs will allow you to uh, pick up the different items. But uh, yeah, basically go around in the world and find these eggs to continue along with this quest line for this event period. Again, the event period is running for a total of two weeks here, running through April 19th. Next up, we have a support supplies prepared by Vugar. So for your seasoned characters, pressing the Y key on the keyboard is going to provide you with bonus items. So you, you have bonus items to, to pick up from there. Specifically targeted towards seasoned characters, you get a bunch of different items that'll help you to upgrade, as well as lost mystical eggs, which can be used in the event here, uh, this previous goose eggs event to pick up some stuff. Moving on a bit further, we have some bonus login rewards here. So for logging into the game, you're going to get bonus stuff for the next 21 days. And that'll do it for events. We can now move on into the patch notes themselves. And the patch notes themselves bring in the much awaited trade rework here. So I'm going to make a full on in depth guide for this trade rework, but to kind of get you started. If you head over to any one of the trade managers located in any of the major cities in the game, so like the major city of Heidel and Serendia, or Velia and Balanos, or Calfion and Calfion, basically the capital city of the region. If you head to the trade manager there, interact with them, and click on the trade tab, you're going to see a bunch of new items here with a lot higher value than you're typically used to seeing. These items are broken down into different categories, and these categories are sort of important here in a little bit, you'll see. But you can't buy any of these items from these trade managers, you'll need to buy them from a connected node, and you're going to want to make sure that node is connected to a whole bunch of other different nodes that you want to sell at, since you can't sell at the same node you buy from. Complicated, it'll make more sense in the full-on video guide, I'm just trying to get you started here, just real, real easy to get you started. To see the different nodes that you can buy from, click on the Life tab, and click on the Order Contract button. It'll show you the different nodes that you can buy from, and you must make sure that these nodes are connected through a node network to your different areas. In this case, Alejandro Farm is the closest node to me, and wouldn't you know, Alejandro Farm is connected. So what I'm going to do is go to the Trade Manager here at Alejandro Farm. And while I'm on my way, I'm going to see that there's a Flandor Goose Egg, so we're going to pick up this portion of the event. See how easy it is? Boom! Got an egg. Let's go. Got another one. Wow, this event is super easy. Now with the trade manager up here at Alejandro Farm, if you click on the trade option, you're going to see a bunch of different items broken down into those same categories again. You're also going to see percentages associated with those items. These percentages fluctuate based on in-game sorts of events that can go on. Now these aren't events like Billy's Guild just took over, 
the entire region, so now Flax is more expensive. That's not what they are. The events are sort of based off of talking with different NPCs in-game, and sort of based off of this Old Moon Guild newsletter that's located under life. Old Moon Guild newsletter. Oh my gosh. Old Moon Guild newsletter. Um, in here, you're going to see a bunch of information about various resources and their value change in each of the different territories. So different activities that are taking place in these regions will impact the prices. Some of these information might actually be wrong. They might be true. Uh, it's not entirely confirmed. You'll have to go to the locations and kind of do some investigating with the NPCs at them to confirm their accuracy. Gives you an idea as to what might happen, and then you have to dig some more. Kind of turns trade into like a full-on real-life scale kind of thing. It's actually kind of cool for role-playing. But anyway, um, just to kind of show you, once again, just getting the start of the system. So I'm going to go ahead and buy something here that I can buy, and I guess that's going to mean that I'm going to buy some coarse wheat flour. So you just click the item, just like if you were trading before. Enter how many you want to buy. In this case, I'm going to buy one. And then hit purchase all to purchase the items. Those items are going to go into your order contract tab here. Now the order contract tab we looked at a second ago, it's under the life tab, order contract. Here you can see all the different goods that you've purchased and the total like weight of your warehouse of these different goods. Now items stored in here have a seven day life period and they have a tax sort of fee that's accrued for keeping them in the storage for a longer period of time. The value of goods are going to change every four hours, again, based on various in-game events that take place because of that newsletter as well as talking with the NPCs. So different events are going to cause these prices to change every four hours. And you can keep items inside of that little storage thing until you're ready to go. Now that item right now is just in your order contract. And this next part took me way too long to figure out. If you go back to the node management person that you bought the item from and click the trade button to see your order contract, you'll be able to take those items out into your inventory or your mount, depending on if you have like a trade wagon or something. But in my case, inventory, you click this button and then when you right click it, it adds the item to your inventory. My gosh, make it more intuitive next time, please. Thank you. Anyway, once you have the goods inside of your character's inventory, you can put them on your mounts inventory or your wagons inventory or whatever you want to put them on and ride them over to the next town, which for me, I'm going to head on over to Altanova and hope I don't get killed by somebody. So you can't sell the goods at the same region that you just bought in, and since I bought in the Serendia region, I can't sell it Heidel, so I have to either sell it Balanos or uh, Altanova, and because I have Altanova connected, that's where I'm going to go, so I'll see you guys in two to seven months. Now when you arrive at the trade manager, just like before, if you interact with them, click on the trade tab, you should see your two items that you can sell. The distance bonus modifier has been reduced significantly for these trade items because they want the trade system to work more based on the four hour type system. Um, so every four hours the price has changed, like you mentioned like a billion times already at this point, based on different factors, blah, 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 blah. So the idea is more so that you're going to buy goods, hold on to them, and then when you see the price is picked up in a region, pick them up and run them over to that location. Um, you can store a bunch of goods inside of that trade system here. So under the life order contract, you can store a bunch of different items and go and pop them whenever you need to, or whenever you see that the percentage is scaled pretty heavily. But again, just like before, you can play the bargain game and get a little bit more out of it. And I'm uh, a tiny little bit more here from, from that percentage bump. So I got another 100,000 silver or so from each of those. And then you can just hit the sell all button and sell them along. Now, like I said, there's a lot more information with these notes. Like there's a ton, a ton, a ton of information. That's just like the quick and dirty. I want to start trading goods. Like I said, I'll put out a full-out video guide for that whole system here uh, in a couple of days after I have more time to mess around with it. That's just your quick, dirty getting started. Now, moving on into actual more changes in here, the patch. Uh, we have an invincibility frame added to a bunch of different skills for various classes. It looks like the invincibility frame is for PvE content, at least it is on the Musa. If I go over Chase, Chase now has invincible during PvE, so um, interesting there. As far as class tweaks, Ranger got a little tweak to some scalings, and other than that, nothing too crazy there. Because of the trade system changes, the trade items, like the, the wagons, have gotten weight limit increases so that you can store more trade goods on them. And then training EXP is going to be acquired as you continue to fill the EXP bar for your horse, not just by leveling up the horse, which is pretty cool there as well. Beyond that, though, guys, nothing else too crazy with this one. So again, the big thing here is this trade patch. Um, definitely something to mess around with. Like I said, I'll put a full guide on it here in a couple of days. But now's your time to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, what do you think of the patch? What do you think of the trade system? Well, let me know. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos on the channel. And once again, check me out every single weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, over the Twitch. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you at the next YouTube video, Twitch stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.